Hi very warm welcome to Dutch Shell Collectibles. Well you may have seen I've done a couple of these kits recently. Uh, I did this little one uh, where I chromed the uh, front grill and this one last week um, just to show what's in the kit and show how they go together. So these are Tamiya 4x4 kits. These are part of a racing series. They have little outriggers and they race around a track and I think they're fantastic for the younger modeler. I think they're very good value and I was kind of recommending them as Christmas presents in these two videos. But I just want to take it on to another dimension. Um, if you're a Tamiya collector like me and you collect RC cars, um, what I've actually done is with some of these, I've tried to replicate the uh, liveries on my RC cars and I display these next to them. So I just sort of go through these, just give a little bit of a history around the cars and uh, show you these next to their counterparts. So uh, yeah, let me indulge myself and uh, I'll show you uh, show you some of the collection. Right, let's start with the uh, standard lunch box. So this is box art, exactly as it came out of the kit. I've just, you know, literally bought this one, put it together, got it as pristine as I could. And this is exactly how the little 4x4 kit comes. It's a yellow livery, it comes with the correct stickers. So this was nice and easy to do. And uh, as I say, when you display them together, they do look pretty good. So I was looking through, I think it was eBay or Amazon or one of the auction sites, something like that. And I came across somebody selling these stickers for Vanessa's lunchbox with the mystery machine on, obviously Scooby-Doo themed. And I thought, oh, that would be a bit of fun. And uh, indeed, you can see Scooby-Doo on the back there. So, matched the paint, sprayed it up just for a bit of fun. Now, I bought one, another one of those Vanessa's lunchbox kits. And with this, spray, obviously sprayed up the body, sprayed up the wheels. But to get the, uh, the stickers on here, they're actually coming off a little bit now because it's been a while since I did this one. I used a, I photographed the side of these and then used, scaled them down on the printer and uh, printed my own stickers at the right scale to fit on here. So hopefully most of them are in the right position. A um, little bit faded now because as I say I did it a while ago but uh, again looks pretty good when they're displayed together so uh, yeah quite pleased with that one. Right and then to complete the three Vanessa's Lunchbox Black Edition. So this is just as box art, did it as close as I could. Um, I then created uh, this little thing. So I didn't buy the stickers for this, uh, so this is just as the stickers came in the box. But uh, this is actually uh, RC conversion. So there's a, a chap put some files on um, one of the sites for 3D printing, and I 3D printed the chassis on this. And um, yeah, that's actually a miniature RC version. Um, it was reasonably successful, you know, it's got the motor in there and uh, yeah, there's a servo mounted and uh, when it's got battery in and the uh, radio gear, it does work and I'm quite pleased with that. So that one sits together, displayed together in the cabinet. So let's talk about the Blackfoot. So uh, this actual car, this chassis, this was mine when I was younger, uh, probably, I don't know, 35, 38 years old now. A uh, little bit of a trigger's broom. Um, various bits have been replaced over the years. Now, the original body was all scuffed up from running. I still have that. I've kept it because it had the original stickers on. This is a repro body just for display. Um, but the chassis underneath, I did have to dust it over. I've dusted it over with a metallic red just to try and bring it up a little bit because it was. this has been well used and uh, yeah, well run over the years. But uh, still going strong. Original tyres on there and um, yeah as I say in lovely condition now I managed to acquire the 4x4 model the smaller version now this was already made and I purchased this uh, well a little while back um, these are quite a rarity actually um, they haven't made these for quite a few years so I am missing the roll cage on it and this is in black um, what I didn't want to do was disturb the stickers on this to repaint it in the blue so this is the only one that really doesn't resemble the uh, the larger ver variant purely because I just wanted to keep it mint didn't want to rip the stickers off because I know that I can't get any more of them it's just um, you know it's one of those ones and as I say quite a quite a rarity so the Tamiya bigwig so this is in part an original 1980s kit so when I was younger I acquired I used to do a lot of racing and uh, racing these RC cars and I don't know where it came from but I acquired the gearboxes to the big wig and the drivetrain and I built my own chassis for it so basically the front end rear end on this old chassis never really ran very well but I, and I was quite a youngster at the time and uh, trying to copy the chassis that were on the Procat and that kind of thing and 
it disappeared off into a box for many years and I found this two or three years ago the bits and pieces and basically bought the other little bits that needed so it's now got a, a repro chassis on the bottom here and a few other bits and pieces these uprights are new you know and the body again is uh, is a modern version but with the original covers on the top here so it's a bit of a hodgepodge of bits but it looks pretty good and sits very nicely next to the miniature 4x4 these are still being made you can still buy these they're UK as I said before they're 15 20 pounds in the UK if you want one of those not too expensive at all and uh, yeah they do look uh, rather fun sitting next to each other right let's talk hot shot too so this was a box find so I had a box of broken bits and I uh, started sorting through them and eventually managed to put together 95% of a hot shot too so this is all but original um, everything on it there's a couple of little pieces on here that uh, aren't original there's one um, upright on this side that's a modern remake but other than that it's pretty much there as good as it gets and the little kit that goes with it I'll spray that up in purple obviously the decals are slightly different but you know that sits together with that and uh, yeah it does look rather good right this is one I do plan to do so this is a uh, Tamiya Terra Scorcher again um, a little bit of box of bits I found some of the gearboxes and stuff and uh, it's a new bumper on here new wheels on here but generally most of it is original from uh, back in the 80s and uh, probably 90s actually this one and recently Tamiya released the Thundershot in miniature form and my plan with this is the, the sort of styling on this is very very similar to this so I thought I'd try and do this in Terra Scorcher livery now there is a guy I think he's in Canada that reproduces decals and he will print the decals in different sizes so I'm probably going to order this set of decals put them on this body and that will uh, complete those two and finally to finish on probably the most important car in my collection which is my very first car this is the Tamiya Hornet that I had when I was 10 years old so 40 odd years old now and um, yeah this is I mean this is a proper triggers broom over the years it's uh, been well and truly used and uh, lots of parts have been replaced um, still have the original body somewhere but it's well scuffed a bits and uh, looks absolutely awful so this is a new new body on here um, and uh, various other little bits and pieces that are on that have been replaced over the years but, but if you don't know the expression triggers broom one of the characters in one of the sitcoms in the UK said he's looked after his broom all these years it's all original it's only had three heads and uh, five sticks well this is a similar sort of thing it's uh, you know had lots of replacement bits over the years but still for me it's uh, you know my my original car and then there's this to go with it now these are super rare these came out many moons ago and um, yeah they're very very hard to get hold of and uh, they do command a little bit of a price when they do come up for sale but um, I've keep that keep that uh, sitting next to it and uh, again does look rather nice when they're on display so anyway it seems a bit of a strange video to make but it's just to give you know potentially give a diff different angle as to what you could use these little kits for I quite enjoy seeing them all next to each other I've got them displayed all around my workshop in different cabinets and you can see them behind me here and uh, yeah it's uh, my aim would be to try and acquire one of these little cars to go with all of the RC cars but uh, I think that's going to be a tall order anyway we'll leave that one there if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up um, have a look at my other videos there's plenty of RC stuff on there and lots of other things um, that interest me model kits and railways and days out and all kinds of things so yeah if you can subscribe you'd be doing me a massive favor and um, yeah with that said we'll leave it there thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one